And now that we have the instance of that constructor, let's go create an instance of the type from that constructor. What I'm going to do, and this isn't really a safe thing to do unless you know what you're working with, we just saw that one comes back so I can ask for the first position within this array, but I'm going to invoke the constructor and null means that I'm not passing in any arguments into that constructor. It's a constructor with no parameters. So doing this is going to basically call the first and only constructor that we have in that list with no parameters. And when we do that, we should get an instance of our type back, but it comes back as an object. So we need to cast it to the type that we want to work with. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. All right, we're getting a little bit further, right? So we have our single constructor, and then we print out to the console that we're about to make an instance, and then we get an instance of it. So when we pass in instance here on line 23 into the string interpolation, we get my class. Like that's the two string method getting called on our instance. So we do in fact have an instance at this point. So, so far we've already overcome that first obstacle, and I couldn't even get that code to compile earlier when I tried to show you. I can't write new my class because that constructor is private. That meant that I could never instantiate it, but I've just shown you with reflection that we can go make a new instance of it. Let's keep going and see how far we can get. 